Hi everyone, Phil from tech for Tex here. What would you do if your computer started overheating, getting really hot, and you didn't have the funds, or you weren't able to get any new heat sinks or anything like that, or fans inside the computer to help cool it down? Well, you could try getting a desk fan like this one. We've got this from Sainsbury's, which is our local supermarket, a bit like uh, Walmart, I suppose, in the States. Uh, and we, what we're gonna do is take the side off the computer and then point the desk fan obviously inside of the case and let it blow fresh air directly in there and see if it makes any difference with the temperatures. Okay, so what we do is just take the side off. Uh, to do that, it's usually two screws, usually one near the top, one at the bottom. Every case is slightly different, but in most cases, it's usually two thumb screws or two screws, what you have to undo with a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, in some cases, if you have got a glass side on your case, usually tempered glass, um, sometimes it can be held on by four screws. In some cases, there might be pressure pads you have to press, um, just double check your manufacturer's manual, just in case, uh, but do do watch it when you're taking glass panels off because if you drop them obviously they're gonna smash so make sure you do it properly so basically what we're doing is taking that side off we're getting this fan here pointing it towards the inside of the case and then turning it on as full as we can and as you can hear that's quite noisy because the airflow on this thing is actually pretty good. We actually did a review of this fan because it is actually pretty good considering its size. Uh, and now we're going to see if the machine runs any cooler or not. All testing was done on the same machine. The specifications of that machine are in the description if you want to take a look. Our test machine is disconnected from the internet, so no updates or anything else can run in the background. Everything is disabled what doesn't need to be run on the machine. In these tests, we set all the fans in the computer to run at 50% of the maximum speed. This is so the fans did not automatically speed up when the components were getting hotter. The room temperature is set at 18 degrees and were checked before each test was undertaken. And we have air conditioning and so forth to keep the temperature set at that level all the time. All tests were undertaken for exactly 30 minutes, so when we're stress testing something to do the testing, we do it for 30 minutes, and then we repeat the process again three times in total um, to make sure all the results are accurate. So total testing time was roughly six hours, not including assembling and disassembling of the machine. Results are accurate for this machine, but obviously will change and differ depending on the machine and components you use. First test would basically measure the temperatures while the machine is sitting at idle and as you can see we tested the temperatures of the SSD, GPU and the processor and as you can see here even though the machine is sitting idle it is running a lot cooler across the board from everything from the CPU all the way down to the GPU so that's pretty good going to be honest with you. In the next test we're going to test obviously how the machine is when it's under full load. That means that all the components are running full whack. These test results, you can see clearly when the desk fan is pointed inside of the machine, the temperatures are running drastically cooler. So that's a, a huge difference in temperature. For example, we did this test with just taking the side off and we found very little difference. But as soon as you add the actual fan there to push more air, uh, air into the actual machine, everything is running cooler and in some cases by 20 or more degrees which is pretty amazing in all honesty so in basics if you wanted to reduce the temperature of your machine and you're on limited funds or well for the sake of it you just want to make it run cooler because well it doesn't matter how much cooling you put in that machine you're going to struggle getting those temperatures down as low as that actually is i would recommend giving it a go Obviously the main drawback of this though is obviously the noise level from the fan. Obviously, if you've got a headset on though, you're probably not going to notice or depending on how you've got your machine positioned or how fast you have the fan spinning, you may actually notice a good performance gain because the machine's running cooler and that can also make the machine last longer as well.